car that I wrote Safety Talk to gave. I learned a lot. No problem. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. You missed the whole road safety talk, and everyone's gone for recess. What's wrong with you? You look like you've just seen a ghost. Nothing. I need a drink. Hey. Alex. Alex. What's bothering you? You've been acting weird since you came to school. I... Talk to me. I nearly died this morning. What? I was on my way to school and I was crossing the road. I saw this truck. I, I thought it saw me. But it drove towards me and nearly hit me. I missed me by this much. This much! Oh, that was some morning you had. Well, my friend, you're in luck. I have just the person you should talk to about this. Come with me, we may still be able to catch her. Auntie Cheryl. This is my friend Alex. I think he needs to hear the talk that you gave us. He was nearly hit by a truck this morning. Oh, my. Well, I think I might have some time. Would you mind spending your recess time hearing that safety talk? Shall we? Hi guys! Right, this is one of our Volvo truck. Are you guys ready to listen up to what I have to say? Come, get around here. Right, as you guys know, I am from Volvo Truck Singapore. And these tips that I'm going to share with you are designed to keep you safe as a pedestrian. So listen up, okay? This message is going to be a life-saving message for you guys. Right, before I proceed, can any one of you tell me what trucks are used for? To carry heavy things from place to place. That's right. Anything else? To transport debris. Very good. One more. To transport building materials. Excellent. I'm so glad you guys know what trucks are used for. So basically, trucks are useful for construction, for clearing our street, and for moving things that are too heavy for other vehicles to transport. When the team goes to schools to teach children about road safety, the children learn about how useful trucks are, and they know how to be careful when they encounter them on the roads. So that's what you need to understand as well. Cheryl, can we go up? I really want to see how it looks like from there. Sure, let me call my truck driver friend who will tell you more about the blind spot. Hi. Hi. Okay, basically the two of you will follow me while the two of you follow him up to the truck. When a truck is preparing to turn left, there is a spot on the road where the driver can't see. It's somewhere behind his left shoulder, and it's called the blind spot. There are also other blind spots directly in the front, back, and right of the truck. You should avoid these blind spots because the truck driver cannot see you at these areas. Stay away from the blind spots. Remember, always follow the rules and cross at designated pedestrian crossings instead. 
you could get ran over by the truck. Then what can we do? You could only walk along the inside of the pavement or cross at the designated pedestrian or zebra crossing. But what if I cycle across the road? You have to be careful when cycling. It is still important to avoid the blind spots. It is never safe to come out from the driver's blind spots or to go too near the trucks. It is very dangerous. You could get knocked down. Now, about the dangers of jaywalking. Jaywalking means not crossing the road at designated pedestrian crossings. Always look out for oncoming vehicles even if you are crossing at zebra crossings. Look right, left and right again before you step onto the road. If there are vehicles coming your way, stay on the inside of the pavement and wait till the vehicles have fully stopped before crossing. Always make eye contact with the driver. Lift up your hands as you cross to signal your intention so he knows you want to cross the road. Never run across the zebra crossing. Now, what happens if there are no pedestrian or zebra crossings? Well, never cross where there are no pedestrian crossing or zebra crossing. Vehicles are not expecting people to cross the road at these areas and they may not be looking out for you. You could be seriously injured if they can't stop in time for you. Even when the green man appears signalling that you can cross, always make eye contact with the driver before you cross the road and raise your hands when you cross the road. These tell him that you intend to cross the road and he will watch out for you. Then only cross when all the vehicles have come to a complete stop. And remember, never run across at all times, especially when the red man is lighted up. Alright, let's recap, shall we? To keep safe on the road, never stand near the blind spots of the vehicles, and only cross at the pedestrian crossing. Always looking right, left and right again and listen for oncoming vehicles before crossing. Make eye contact with the driver and never, and never cross, cross between the vehicles. vehicles. Alright, it sounds like it's time for us to end. Thanks for the safety talk today. I've learned a lot. My pleasure. But remember guys, to observe all those tips to keep yourself safe on the road. Right? Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. 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 Don't forget about your safety tips. Make sure you have eye contact with the driver before you cross. Wow, he really learned your lesson well. Thanks for the reminder. 